up, Camp Renovate? Welcome back to Camp Renovate TV. Today, we are starting a brand new Camp Renovate special. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. I can't hear you. Are you ready? We are doing the first ever Camp Renovate grilled cheese cook-off. <laughs> okay, so today I brought in my friend, Kate the Great, to help us with our grilled cheese cook-off. Kate the Great, where are you at? Wow. What's up, guys? There she is. I would say, hey, Kate the Great. Hey, Kate the Great. All right, so this isn't just any Camp Renovate Grilled Cheese Challenge. This is the Best Friend Grilled Cheese Challenge. Let's go. Special up. Woo! Oh, okay. So today, we're going to be grilling a grilled cheese. I mean, right. it's a grilled cheese cook-off, so we have to build grilled cheeses. Obviously. But each week, we're going to have a challenge, okay? Are you ready for today's challenge? Yeah. Are you guys ready for today's challenge? Okay. So today's challenge, we're going to spin a cheese wheel. So we already know how to make a grilled cheese, right? How do you make a grilled cheese? You put some bread on, you put the cheese on, you grill it. That's it, grilled cheese, okay? But today, we're going to add something else to our grilled cheese. So we're going to spin a cheese wheel. So we have here, if you can see, we have cheese balls, cheese its and Baby Bell cheese. All right? Um, I don't know which one. I, I think I want this cheese. Because this is so like baby not balls. real cheese, you know? Yeah, we want real cheese, but you know, Cheese balls are great too. Okay, let's spin the cheese wheel for Kate the Great, see what she's gonna get. All right, here we go. Spin the wheel. Yes! I got cheese. All right, my turn. Spin the wheel. Cheese balls! <laughs> Darn. That's not fake cheese for Jackie. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put together our grilled cheeses and we're just gonna have fun with it. Everybody, okay, so first we need bread, right? Step one, get your bread. Okay, let's see. You want two pieces? Yes. Okay. You have to have There's your bread. Bring your bread. Is that Step it? Step two, put it on the... That's the... Wait, we need our... We need our spray. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Let me hold... Step two, get your spray. Spray. Good call. There you go. Step three. I feel like we could go ahead and put it on here and then start adding our cheese, right? I think so. Okay, so we get to add one of the regular cheeses. So we have mozzarella and gouda. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. So which one do you want? Mozzarella. Okay, I'll use the gouda. This is the gouda. I'm gonna use two slices because you need extra cheese on your grilled cheese. More than the lid. Barrier. All right, and then you have to use the cheese its and I have to use the cheese balls. So man, let's see. I'm gonna crush some of these. Oh my gosh. I'm crush some of those. Good. Make a nice design on mine. I'm gonna put these inside. Oh my the bread. What? I really want you to not be able to feel like you're eating a cheese ball while you eat your grilled cheese, right? Okay, so we're just gonna, yep, mm. perfect. Have you ever had a cheese it smiley face on your sandwich? I don't think so. Cheese it smile. oh, here we go, here we go. Wow. Oh, I think this is gonna look so beautiful. Okay, so we're just gonna flip Bring it. Some cheese it's on. Oh, look, you can see the cheese balls through. Oh, I just, that's good. I don't know if that's- All right, so I'm gonna let it be right there. Wipe off my cheese. All right. Wipe off the cheese on the on the bread. Ew. That's we're gonna eat it, right? Is those, yeah, that's very delicious. Okay. Ready, cheese ball? Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. Yes, let's catch it. I'll catch it. All right. Focus. Look me in the eye. This is it. I'm ready. You're gonna catch it. Eye on the cheese ball. Okay. Oh, nice oh job. You had one chance. It's okay. We'll try again. But you know what this makes me think of? What? It makes me think of two friends in the Bible that were just as silly and loved hanging out with each other like we do. Who? David and Jonathan. Oh, yeah. I feel like we need to say get rid of it about David and Jonathan. I agree. These two became friends quick, and they stayed friends for a long time. Just when David defeated Goliath, he returned to show King Saul what he had done, which is Jonathan's dad. And when he finished talking with King Saul, he met Jonathan for the first time. In 1 Samuel 18, it says, there is an immediate bond for Jonathan love David. Now close your eyes, and I want you to picture your best friend. Have you and your friend ever made a pact to stay friends forever? Well, Jonathan and David made one of those pacts. Over the years, many things and even people would try to get in the way and then make them stop being friends. But they had built trust and loyalty with each other. If we keep reading, Jonathan's dad became really, really jealous of David. The women in the towns would sing to King Saul. Saul has killed thousands. David has killed ten thousands. This made Saul really angry. King Saul didn't want anyone to be loved more than himself, especially David. 
The scripture continues to say how David was good at everything he did because the Lord was with him. And King Saul was even more afraid of him. Have you guys ever been afraid of before? David kept winning over and over again, and he didn't let his success or fame turn him into a bad friend of Jonathan. He didn't brag or shove his winning streak in Jonathan's face. David was humble. You guys say humble? David continued to care for Jonathan and put his friend first. Because David was humble, his friendship with Jonathan lasted forever. David teaches us that forever friendships take humility. Forever friendships, Kate, they take humility. That's where we say that. Forever friendships take humility. You guys say that with us. Forever friendships take humility. Okay, I think it's time to flip our girl teeth. You ready? I think so. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this is gonna be it. Okay, this is gonna mean. Whoa, whoa! Bumper car. Okay, you flip all that side. We're ready? Two, three. Ow. It's not ready. <laughs> My cheetah. I feel like to turn up our grill just a smidgy. Yep. The grilled cheese isn't grilling. But it feels like it. It feels toasted. Yeah, it's crunchy. All right, we gotta give it one other minute. Here's a little appetizer. A warm cheese it. Yummy. You wanna try to catch a cheese ball? Ready? Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. oh no. No, all right. They the great is really great. Okay, I think it's time for us to try our grilled cheeses. I think you're gonna try yours and I'm gonna try mine. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna take a bite. I gotta make sure I get some cheese ball. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Okay, ready? Oh, I hear the crunch. The cheese balls are crunching away. On a scale, it's not terrible. Would you buy that if it was in a rush? Never. But because I made it, it's like not not too bad. The crunchiness of the okay, your turn. I love cheese it, but I don't know about them on a grill. Okay, here we go. The crunchy. Oh, crunchy, crunchy, and the mozzarella. What do you say? On the scale. <laughs> <laughs> disgusting. No, no, no. You don't think it's good? I don't know, guys. I'm not sure if cheese balls and cheese its are meant to go in grilled cheese. But join us next week for our next challenge of the grilled cheese cook-off. Kate the Great, see you next week. Peace.